Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to talk to you about the app A Calendar Plus. To me, the best calendar app on the Android market. Uh, I was in search of a really great calendar app, especially my favorite calendar used to be the Samsung calendar, which I loved on my S3 and also on my uh, old Note, uh, Galaxy Note tablet, uh, but Samsung changed their calendar. I now have an S7 and their calendar is now like everybody else's calendar. One of my pet peeves is when I'm in the month view, I wanna see details, I wanna see times and events. Uh, and a lot of calendars when you're in the month view, they just have a dot. So you know something's happening on that day, but you can't find out what or when unless you go into the day. And uh, I like to have details on my month view. So that was my number one thing I was looking for. But also, obviously, it's got to have good functionality otherwise. And it's got to have good widgets to use. And A Calendar Plus is all of that. And you're going to see that on my phone. So rather than me telling you about it, let's show it to you. It's up on my phone. I'm going to show you uh, how it works, some of the different cool features it has, uh, a lot of great uh, functions functionality and customization. So let's talk on my phone and take a look at it. So here we are on my phone. I'm going to show you uh, A Calendar Plus. I'll start by showing you the two widgets I use. I don't have these widgets on my home screen. I'm using something else that I won't get into, but these are two separate widgets. This is the month view widget and then this is the uh, it's either called event or task view widget. Um, and you can see with the month widget it's entire month, but it actually has the title of what's happening on each day. Instead of just having dots to say, you're doing something that day, I can actually look at this and know, okay, I have the Adele concert here. I have a chiropractor appointment here. It's, all, it's right there, which I love. Um, also, on the widget, you can scroll through months on the widget. You can add stuff. Uh, and, you know, if you click the plus button, it's to add an appointment. And this is a different widget. Like I said, this is the event widget. It starts, it shows you the date, uh, today's date, and then you just scroll through and it gives you exact details and time of what's coming up and when it is. So those are two of the, just two of the widgets, and there are other widgets available. And then if we open up the, oops, open up the uh, app itself, a calendar plus right there you see I have it opening straight into month view where I can see details of what's going on uh, you can click that you can switch to uh, week view you can switch to day view you can switch to year view if you want so you can see the whole year at the same time uh, let's go. You can go to birthdays, just see birthdays. You can go to calendar list to choose what calendars you want to be included on there. You can uh, let's go out of that. You can look at agenda view, uh, which shows you your agenda, all the different things that are on your calendar. Uh, let's see. And I think that's it for that. Let's go back to month view. Uh, you click the plus button, that'll add a uh, new event. Uh, you can change the color of it, you select your times, or all day, you can add location, you can add description, you can add all your reminders, you can use an alarm, which is like a notification, or an email. Uh, you can add guests, you can set it as a repeat. Um, you can show yourself as busy or not. You can select different privacy modes. So lots of cool things there. You can also long press on a date. So if I had something to add on the 17th, I could long press the 17th. And then I can choose it as a birthday or anniversary, that type of event, or an all day event, or pick the time. So I can pick the time and then I have all the same options that were available before. You can also, I have it by default going to my uh, Hollywood Frodo uh, calendar, but you can change that if you are using multiple calendars associated with your uh, A Calendar Plus, which is cool. Uh, you can also go into the menu. You can see, go to a specific date, look at birthdays, agenda, uh, calendar list, 
Uh, you can synchronize, you can search your calendar. Uh, let's go into settings, so you can see some of the different settings. Start view, so you can change that. I like to always start on the month. I like to see the entire month at one time, but you can choose the current day or the current week if that's what you want to do. Uh, you have different themes you can use. So you have these different color themes. You can have, they have uh, five dark ones and five white ones and the different colors within that. Um, I, of course, like the dark one with the orange. And then color for today. You can choose whatever color you want today to be. Font size, you can choose that. Um, event notification, if you want it on or off, you can choose that. Uh, agenda, so you can select how you want that to be. Show the days without events, single line, date header. Uh, task, uh, I don't have task uh, enabled. Uh, because I'm using a different uh, different app for that, but you can use uh, you can use this calendar for that as well. Uh, day view settings. You have different ways for it to show the days, uh, week settings, mini overview. You know what do you want that to be like? Uh, just all different kinds of things. New event when you have a new event. Uh, what do you want the defaults to be on these things? Uh, you can set all that up. And then you have advanced settings, show lunar phases. I have that check because I like to see the lunar phases on the, the month calendar. Uh, you can use enable volume buttons to uh, navigate if you want. Uh, event time display options so you can set uh, how you want event time display options to be, uh, which is really cool. So you can go in there and you can say I want the start time to show on month. Uh, three finger tap action so you can have an action so that when you tap with three fingers it does something else if you want which is kind of cool um, just all different kinds of cool things use home time zones place counter events in your home time zone even when traveling uh, just great features um, again like I said everything that you would probably want in a calendar uh, it's all there for you um, and I love it because I wanted a calendar, a month view calendar that listed details, but then also wanted a calendar that did all kinds of other cool things. And this does it. And you can see you can swipe to go to different, go through the months and see what you have going on. Just a really great, uh, great, great calendar. Um, real quick, I'll show you the uh, different. Here we go. So you have a agenda widget, two by one agenda widget. A one by one date widget, which just shows the date, but if you tap it, it opens a calendar. Uh, a hybrid widget, which shows uh, the date and some events, I believe. And then one that's task and one that's the full calendar, uh, which is the one that you saw uh, me using before. Anyway, that's a calendar plus. Awesome, awesome calendar app. Uh, I've been using it for a really long time and it is the one I'll probably be using forever and ever because I love it. So as you can see, A Calendar Plus is really one of the best calendar apps ever for Android. So I highly recommend uh, if you're in the market for a good calendar app, if you don't really like the one that came with your phone like me, uh, then A Calendar Plus will have you covered. It has every feature I think you could ever possibly want in a calendar app. I'll have a link in the description below to the app on uh, Google Play, so you can check that out. And uh, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this app or this video, please share this with them. You can do that on Google+, Twitter, email, uh, Facebook, all those ways are down there. Just click the right button. Check out all my Android app reviews. I only review apps that I think enhance the functionality of your phone and make your phone better. So check them all out. Also, I have a product review playlist, lots of cool gadgets, electronics, phone and tablet accessories that you might be interested in, so check that out. If you want to take your phone to the highest level possible, then you might want to get involved with Tasker, and I have an entire Tasker tutorial series, so you can check that out, find out how to really uh, use Tasker to make your phone uh, amazingly awesome, even more than it is already. Anyway, that is going to be it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.